Hey, it's Mariah, and today I'm going to be showing you my pretty much everyday um, makeup and hair routine, which is pretty much nothing. But, um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy. Uh, please stay tuned for more videos, because I will be posting very often. And, yeah, tell me what you think in the comments below, or liking the video. Or if you really, really want to see more and you really like this video, you can subscribe because I would love it if you subscribed. So yeah, let's get on to it. So first I'm going to put my hair up in a ponytail and this is going to help keep my hair out of my face and my makeup out of my hair because nobody likes makeup in their hair. So first off, I am starting off with a clean face and I'm using my Rimmel foundation and I'm going to use this all over my face. And now I'm going to use my Eco Tools brush and I'm going to use this to blend everything in together. You're going to be able to find all the products I use in the description box below by the way. I'm putting it on my chin and a little bit on my neck so it's not like a mask of color. So now I'm going to use my correcting powder by Physicians Formula and I'm using a little brush that comes with it and I'm going to put this all over my face and this is going to lock in my foundation and it's also going to help correct my skin tone and my blemishes will not be as red. Now I'm just going to use my favorite concealer and I'm going to put this all over my blemishes Then afterwards I'm using my Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer with highlighter and I'm going to put this under my eyes in a triangular shape and I'm going to add two to three dots inside and this is going to help cover up my under eye circles more and brighten my eyes. So now I'm just going to blend in my concealer with my finger. Now in blending in my under eye concealer, all I'm going to do is just do it normally and put it on my eyelid all the way up to my eyebrow and this is going to help keep me one color and not several. Now I'm going to use my shadow primer by Hard Candy and I'm going to put this from my lid all the way up to my eyebrow and under my eye and this is going to help keep the colors on longer and they're going to stay more vibrant looking and just beautiful. Now I'm going to use my second color in my eyeshadow palette and I'm going to put it all over my eye all the way up to my eyebrow and as I said you will find the stuff listed below. I'm going to put it in the corners of my eyes and a little bit underneath and this is going to help brighten my eyes. Now I'm going to use the third color in this palette and it's a nice warm brown color and we're going to put this all over the lid and this is going to actually add the color to our eyes that we need so we don't look so naked. Now I'm going to use the fourth color and this is going to go into my crease and when I do the crease I usually mostly put it on the outside corner of my crease because that is where I like to have it the most. So now I'm just going to do it to the other eye. Now I'm going to take my favorite eyeliner and I'm going to line my eyes in a medium line and we're going to keep it close to the lash line as well so we don't have a big gap. Now I'm going to use the little smudger on the end and I'm going to smudge this line out. Now I'm going to go over the smudged line and I'm going to redo it in a slightly thinner line and this is going to add kind of a shadowy 
background to it. I don't know, it's weird. And now I'm going to go on my waterline. Then I'm going to go on the same eye. Well, on the different eye. Now I'm just doing my waterline. Oops, I kind of messed up there. Now I'm gonna take my favorite mascara and I'm gonna put this all over my eyelashes. On the tops and bottoms. And I put a couple coats on them because I like to have very long lashes. I've always worn lashes, so I try to fake it as best as I can. Now I'm just going to put some on the bottoms. Now I'm going to take my eyelash curler and I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Now I'm going to take a fluffy angled brush and a nice pink blush and I'm going to put this on both my cheeks. Now I'm going to contour my face with a light brown eyeshadow and I'm sorry the camera cut off then but trust me I put it on both my cheeks. So I'm just going to contour my cheekbones and on my temples. Now I'm going to use a fluffier brush to kind of buff it all out so I don't have a line. No one lacks lines. So now I'm going to use my petroleum jelly or Vaseline and I'm going to put it all over my lips. And this is going to hydrate them before I put on any lip color. Because you don't want peely lips. It's gross, trust me. Now I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk lipstick in Sugarbush. I hope I said her name right. And I'm going to put this all over my lips. This has been my favorite lipstick for three years and counting. Now I'm going to use my CoverGirl lip gloss in Guava Splash. And that pretty much completes our makeup look. Now I'm going to take some hairspray and I'm going to spray it on a spoolie brush and I'm going to fix my eyebrows. I do not really fix eyebrows on a daily basis. So that's why I didn't do it. And yes, I got some in my mouth. It was disgusting. So now I'm just going to do it to the other side. And I'm going to make sure I get them nice and pretty for you. Now I'm going to start on my hair. And I'm using my handy dandy hair dryer. And I'm just going to dry it. Let me know if you do any funny faces or anything while you do your hair. Because I found out that um, I kind of look serious. And that kind of scares me because I'm not very serious all the time. So yeah, let me know. Almost done. And now I'm just going to brush my hair out so that it's not so tangly and it looks nice. I'm just going to fluff it out and with my comb I'm going to put in a part and I'm doing the middle part because I'm in love with middle parts right now. So yeah, just parting my hair. Let me know how you part your hair. And that is basically it. So yeah, after I brush my hair,